Hi everyone, I appreciate you taking some time to watch today's video. In today's video, I'm going to go over like some of the different tricks that I use to make some different soft swim baits into line through swim baits. So conventionally, we're all familiar with like the working class Zero Citizen and even, you know, the Mega Bass Mag Draft Freestyle. So what I want to go over today is just how to make these different swim baits into line through swim baits, just using a few simple little items and you can have a line through from some of your favorite swim baits. And I've also got these in the Kitek as well as the Scottsboro Tackle Shad. So let's just dive into today's video and I'll kind of show you up how I rig each of these when I kind of am wanting to make it into a line through. So real quick, I wanna go over so, through some of the different tools and some of the different you know, pieces that you'll need to be able to make these line throughs for yourself. Um, to me, and this is kind of one of my personal thoughts, is where I live with Highland Reservoirs, we have a lot of mixed species lakes. So we have all three species of bass. Um, a lot of our fish, as a result of that, heavily feed up. Um, you know, the conventional mega bass mag draft for me has caught a ton of fish. Uh, I've caught a lot of fish on that bait and I really like that bait. However, um, as a result of that, it's kind of made me venture into how can I take that same basic technology of, you know, the wire harness and apply it to other baits. And another one of these thoughts is, for example, with the mega bass mag draft freestyle, you get two for you know, one, so to speak, in that sense, if you can actually be able to produce multiple, uh, you know, baits. And also your, the wire harness that Megabass has versus your own line through system, you can actually detach the bait even more so from the hook, which would allow you to have a lot better, a lot better hookup ratio or hookup to land ratio because the bait goes farther up the line, you're more fighting the fish directly on the line versus trying to just that single hook. Uh, but let's dive into it. I'm going to start with the Working Class Zero Citizen because this is the bait that, um, well, actually I had some feedback in my last video of my pre-spawn big swim bait strategies and I'll leave a link to that video here, but I had some comments there asking for how I did that. So this is a modification that was um, that I had actually seen that some Canadian swim bait anglers had used to modify this bait, and I mean honestly, I believe they were doing a very similar situation as myself. Come up with a method on how to rig the citizen, and I kind of adapted that method to my own needs. But because of how deep my lakes are and how I wanted to be able to fish the bait, I did add a few things. So I'm gonna walk through this process as to how I do this. So to begin with, let's start with what you will need to make this modification. Number one, this is a, uh, you know, the equivalent of the straw that is used for the WD-40 or the aerosol spray cans. You can get these on Amazon, a 50 pack in transparent for about $10. So I think I have about a lifetime supply. I don't think I'll ever go through this many. But simply what you will do, and then I also have a different method. This is a brass rod. It's hollow, but it's made of brass, so it's incredibly strong compared to the plastic. Um, the difference here is this method is going to take you a little bit longer to put together and the reason being is you'll want to make sure when you start clipping and cutting the brass that you have it smooth enough to where it won't nick your line or cut your line as the line goes through the brass so i would definitely say longevity this will outlast this it's also firmer so you will probably get just I mean, ever so less <laughs> of a head bob flex, you know, because you are gonna have a, a, a metal brass rod sticking through the bait versus the, you know, the WD-40 straw. But, you know, a little bit less work here. Um, but once again, with a 50 pack, you're probably gonna be okay for a while. And you can get them in this transparent. You don't have to get red. Um, red works really well at like imitating gills and things like that. 
but for me, I actually just prefer the transparent. I feel like if I notice it and it looks different than a fish, maybe a fish can notice it. And maybe that's just in my head, but that's just something that I kind of think about. So real quickly, let's do it with the aerosol spray first. So this is the seven inch working class zero citizen. And the first step you'll make is, and I've already done this on this particular one, but you will insert a nail or, you know, something a little bit pointed to be able to insert the straw through just to give yourself a hole. And what I did, and this is not gonna be very easily to visualize, as you can see, there's a huge belly cavity in the working class zero. Uh, for those of you all watching that have never seen this bait, um, but what you will do then is I'm going to show you as to kind of how I angled this or try to. So as you can see, and I hope this comes through, you can kind of see it. I wanted it to come through in the belly cavity, but above the actual like slot where Mike Gilbert designed that for the beast hook piece of lead that actually rested on the shank of the hook. The reason being is I wanted this section right here to stay in there because I wanted to actually use the giant air cavity that he created, the chaos chamber. Um, and I'm going to show you specific to why I was wanting to use that chaos chamber here in just a moment. But so what I would do is insert at the nose, run it all the way through and come in just above, you know, where this section starts feeling on the inside of the bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm now using my finger to kind of push the, this piece to where it'll come in about even with that section of rubber there because what you don't want is the line, if a fish does come, for the line to kind of come out and then start cutting your bait into as you're fighting a fish. So you need to have your straw or your brass tubing to be long enough to where it won't cut the bait even further. <clears throat> because you wanna to try to protect the longevity of the bait because the baits are, they're super soft. You know, so it, it's going to be hard to actually keep the baits in good condition for a number of fish. And that doesn't matter if you're going to use the beast hook method or this, this method with a bait this soft that gets used, it, it's going to be, it's going to go through it. So uh, carry your mend it, mend it and your uh, soft bait glue with you. So what you're doing next is you will take your set of scissors and you'll clip it to fit. Perfect. All right. So that's what we look like now. Now, after that, you will take your nail weights. Um, I've got the working class zero nail weights, the Bass Pro nail weights. It doesn't matter as far as the nail, the, you know, as far as a nail weight goes. What I would recommend is going with tungsten and this goes back to my previous video you don't want to discolor your plastic you know trying to get it or, tr or letting it get discolored just because next up what you're going to do is you're going to install two nail weights one on either side and if you'll notice right here you see the fins so, and as you can tell, I've already inserted one and you can kind of see as to how I have it. It's barely in there, just enough to where I can remove it if I want to. So what I will do on this other side, I will take my nail and I'll insert that right into the fin. And that allows you, what you're doing here by inserting these nails into the fins, that allows it to ballast itself because that way it will ride properly it's it's a heavy bait by itself just the plastic and it will actually almost float in the water um, so you have to create ballast to be able to get it to sink and you want it to run straight in the water 
so here is where I differ from where the Canadian guys had kind of created this method, or at least they're the first that I've seen with this method. Um, I needed it to run deeper, and I wanted it to. So what I kind of kept thinking was, okay, <clears throat> how do I put more weight in there? So I ran across these while I was on Tackle Warehouse and Bass Pro one evening. These are tungsten slider weights, and they're cylinders. So what I would do, and I bought two sizes, I bought a 3 8 and a quarter ounce. What I would do, you know, get your favorite hook, and uh, I use a split ring, yeah, I use a split ring attached to it just to give it a little bit extra. So what you'll do is take your slider sinker, um, and I'm actually gonna reverse thread this, go backwards, but it's the same process as if you're going the other way. This is why the working class Zero Citizen was so nice for this, because what you can do, once you get your line up in the Citizen, or rather bringing your line through the nose and bring it out the belly, you will attach your split sinker or your, you know, your tungsten slider weight inside and then you can hide it within that chaos air chamber, just about like so. You got your hook still out here. Everything is pretty well seamlessly in there and then you just take your hook and hide it very nicely and very evenly. And then all you'll have, as you can kind of tell, it's gonna be very concealed. And that's exactly what you want. You want this concealed to where you don't have that big giant weight just kind of dangling. And as you can see, let me try to get it a little bit better direction here. You can see as to where I'm hiding that. That slider sinker will stay right there and that actually also helps it from being pushed out of the bait too. So that's kind of the process as to how this goes. Um, and then I'll run this, you know, I don't have my rod and actually rigging it right now. Um, I clipped the line off of the rod when I took it off. So I could do this process, but this is basically what it's gonna look like on the end of your line. Now, <clears throat> You're gonna have a little bit of weight, I mean, whether or not that sinker, when the fish starts fighting, slides down with the hook or stays in the belly of the bait. But if you think about it from this point of view, it's still less weight than the two ounces that the bait weighs by itself. So you're still able to at least get that line through and you've just got a whole lot less weight down here fighting the fish with. So that is the working class zero modification. Um, it's a, you know, really just a standard line through that you'll do with any of your baits. Um, let's do the Mega Bass Mag Draft real quick. So this is gonna be just a similar modification, but instead of going through the belly, I'm gonna bring this one out through the top. So once again, taking your favorite spray can bottle, plastic tubing. You're gonna run that straight through the nose. Okay, now that looks a lot better. So what I did where you need to come at on the freestyle mag draft is basically where the mouth and the nose connect. I know it looks a little bit, you know, off right now, but that's okay. You're really, it's all really getting to how technical you want to get and how close you want it to get. But you need to create that little shoot there for your line. So, 
you're gonna have it, it's gonna look like an up angle here, but I don't think it's gonna be much of an angle once you kind of get it going. So take that, take your scissors, snip the bait, and there you go. And then what you will do here is you're gonna put your hook and it's gonna be able to go right on the back. And now you've got a top hook on the mag draft. Now, once again, because this bait is not ballast for this, you will need to insert some weight. So the best way that I have found to do it is also with nail weights. And what I would, the area that I would add these, as you can tell, you go through quite a few nail weights in working with these swim baits. Insert that. Let me see. Right around where the little fins are, you'll have one on either side. Now, that's going to ballast that weight and keep it riding upright the whole time. And then you can always add more weight as you need to. It just depends on how much weight you're trying to get before it's going to start looking really, really bulky. But also, if you want to go the other route and go through the belly here, it's a whole lot easier actually than trying to do the top. And the reason I say that is because you've already got a pre-made belly slit because the freestyle is designed for like that beast hook style. So you can actually take your same exact tubing that you just used to make your top. All you're gonna have to do here is change the angle that you're going in and try to make it go down a little bit more and bring that out right there we go right about here at the base you can kind of see that where it's clear it's a little bit harder to see but you're right at the base of the head so you can create your line through and there you are you have a line through on a mag draft and this is honestly the way i would prefer to do it because i end up adding a lot of weight to mine to be able to get them to run deep enough for me so i like this a whole lot better honestly than their magnet because the magnet just it, it doesn't hold it well enough and then you just pierce enough on there and that hook will not fall out. And you can kind of see where the bait is transparent. You can kind of see where the hook's kind of holding. But that is the basic process. Do that with any of your favorite swim baits, you know. These are the Scottsboro Tackle uh, Payback Mino, I think is what they're called, you know. Um, or maybe that's the Payback Color, but it's the Scottsboro swim bait. Your Kitek will work the exact same way. This is the largest, or the 5.8 Kitek. Um, it used to be the largest, now it's not. But you can do it with these. Any soft swim bait that does not already have a rigging harness or a rigging system in it, go ahead and try to make this, you know, rigging alteration. Feel free to do it and play with these swim baits however you want to because ultimately, you know, Everyone has a reason for fishing the way that they do and the way they like to. For example, I was on a lake just the other day and, um, you know, I'm fishing the working class zero the exact way it was designed. I'm fishing it with the beast hook and it works great. But I've got a whole lot of like shallow timber in that lake that I really can't get that bait through all that easily. Um, if I were to try to fish it on a treble hook, I would stay hung. So I'm going the alternative method, going back to the way the bait was designed to do for that particular process. And likewise, you switch it up based on what you need the bait to do when you need the bait to work. Um, so I hope this video helps everyone. Um, if you have any questions, any comments about how I did the overall process, you know, anything like that, please let me know. I'll do my best to try to help and answer any questions that I can. And I appreciate you all taking some time to watch today's video.
I'll do my best down in the video description to kind of link, or not link, but list out some of these different items that you'll need, um, just so that you all can kind of source them however you would like. Um, because maybe you want to just go with the Bass Pro nail weights, or maybe you're wanting to get the working class zero nails when you're on their website picking up bait, up to you there. And then mm, the Amazon 50 pack is the way to go here. You don't need to buy a thousand cans of WD-40. So, <laughs> but uh, I appreciate everyone taking some time today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Liking this video really helps the algorithm push our video to more people. We are growing a community here and you're part of this. Uh, so I really appreciate you taking some time to be a part of this. Please hit that little subscribe button and the notification bell. What that does is that helps us grow our channel and it also lets you know when new videos come out. I try to do videos on the first Monday and the third Monday of every month. So two videos a month is guaranteed. We'll call it guaranteed. But that's my schedule. And I try to throw out bonus videos um, periodically on the other Mondays, whether that be second, fourth, maybe even a fifth if we get that within the month. But um, just due to my work schedule, as well as trying to you get videos edited and things like that, I don't want to overcommit to you all and uh, let you all down. So we're going to stick with that for right now. But hey, I appreciate everyone's taking some time to watch today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope everyone catches some great fish.